Hello, welcome to iFocus Tutorials. Today in this video, I am going to explain the universal gates. As we all know that NAND gate and NOR gate is called as a universal gate. Now what is the reason behind it? The reason is the basic gates that is the NOT gate, OR gate and AND gate can be implemented by using this universal gates that is NAND gate and NOR gate only. Now in this video, I am going to show the implementation of all these basic gates using the NAND gate and the NOR gate. I am starting with the NOT gate implementation by using the NAND gate. Now what I have drawn here, I have drawn a NAND gate and by applying the two inputs, I have connected the both the inputs together. So the output that is NAND gate output is written as A dot B bar. But as my inputs are same that is A is equal to B. So I can write it as directly a so here i am applying a dot a bar now by using the boolean algebra rules a dot a is written as a only so i can write it as a bar now whatever the input that i have applied that has been inverted at the output hence we get a a bar at the output means this operation explains the not gate operation the second implementation is and gate implementation using nand gate now what i have drawn here is I have drawn a two input NAND gate and I have applied the inputs as A and B. So the output at this point will be A dot B bar because it is a normal mathematical equation for your NAND gate. Now again I have applied a NAND gate here and both the inputs are connected together. So here at the output what it will be done as A dot B bar and double bar this double bar has been applied because i have inverted that is i have used a bubble here so this double bar gets cancelled and at the output i get a dot b now this operation is nothing but your and gate operation so this implementation gives you the operation of your and gate the third implementation is the OR gate implementation using NAND gate. Now what I have done is I have drawn a NAND gate here and I have connected both of its inputs. So the output at this point will be A bar. Similarly, I have drawn another NAND gate here and I have connected both its inputs. So the output at this point will be B bar. Now again I have used a NAND gate and the output at this Y point will be A bar as it is its first input into B bar as it is its second input and then a bubble hence it is a bar now i am using a de morgan's theorem here so it will give me a double bar plus b double bar now this double bar gets cancelled and hence we get at the output that is a plus b now this a plus b operation is nothing but for an or operation so this entire implementation gives me the OR gate at the output. To get the information about the tutorials, press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get the notification. Now I am going to start with the second universal gate. The second universal gate is NOR gate and so I am starting the implementation of NOT gate using a NOR gate. Now what I have drawn is, I have drawn a NOR gate here and both of its inputs have been connected together. So the output that is Y is equal to A plus B bar is nothing but your mathematical equation for the NOR gate. But as my both the inputs are same, so I can write a is equal to B is equal to A. So I am writing it here A plus A bar. Now by using the Boolean algebra rules A plus A can be written it as A only. So here 
I get at the output that is A bar. This A bar is nothing but your not get operation. So this implementation gives you the operation of not get at the output. The second implementation is the AND gate using NOR gate. Now what I have drawn is, I have drawn a NOR gate here and I have connected both of its inputs. So the output of this NOR gate is nothing but A bar. And again I have drawn a NOR gate here and I have connected both of its inputs. So the output at this NOR gate will be B bar. Now both these inputs have been given to another NOR gate and hence the output will be A bar as it is its first input and plus B bar as this B bar is nothing but its second input. Now there is a bubble here so I will have to give a bar here. Now by using the De Morgan's theorem I can write it as A double bar dot B double bar. Now this bar gets cancelled and I will get a a dot b at the output now this a dot b is nothing but an operation for and gate so this implementation gives you the operation of and gate at its output the third implementation is the or gate implementation using nor gate now what i have drawn is i have drawn a nor gate here and i have applied both the inputs as a and b so at this point I will get the output as A plus B bar. Now this output I have applied as an input to another NOR gate. So here at the output I will get it as A plus B bar was its input and this bar bubble give me a another bar. So this double bar gets cancelled and I will get a plus B at the output. Now this A plus B is nothing but the operation for OR gate. So this implementation will give me the operation of OR gate at the output.